Welcome. Today we have a tutorial on how to start up all the helicopters and take on helicopters, including the new Hines. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at how to start up a light helicopter. I'm gonna take all these slow. All the shutoffs are fairly the same. Okay, this is basically to show you where everything is on every helicopter because some it's difficult to find the RPM okay let's hop in okay now that we're in let's take a look at where all our controls are our throttle and uh, starter here our batteries switches for lights and everything here and music Got our pedals and our cyclic. Okay. First thing is you want to turn the batteries on. Switching batteries on. Then turn on your Holding starter. Holding starter for engine one. Then look about right there where my crosshair is pointing. At least wait till it's 12%. Then throttle set your to throttle idle to idle. One. Then wait till that little dial goes up to 65. And then you turn off Releasing your starter. starter for engine one. Then you wait 15 seconds. I'm not gonna put it here. Um, then after that, throttle to full for you put one. your throttle to full. The only reason you want to wait 15 seconds between your uh, starter turning off and your uh, throttle to full is to reduce wear on the aircraft's components. And, uh, yep. That's how you start the light. Next, we're going to start on the medium. Welcome back. This is the medium helicopter. We're going to be starting it up. It is a two-engine aircraft, which some people may not know how to turn on. Okay, let's get in. Okay, this is the basic interface of the medium helicopter same things as before okay you gotta go up here you gotta go to this switch switching batteries on. batteries on now for this one since it's two engine holding you starter wanna put for both one. starters holding on starter for engine two. if both of them don't show up there just go to your scroll wheel you can select that option Oh, and I almost forgot. Right there, where it says rotor uh, percent RPM, that is your RPM gauge. There are two needles. The needles are currently together instead of separated. Now, watch. Throttle Setting to idle thro to throttle one. to idle for engine one they become separated and one of them goes forward but you want to, to usually to set them two. both to idle at the same time to reduce waiting time see second needle becoming closed with first once that happens huh. starter is off oh, basically you turn the starter off for both engines. I don't know how it turned off, but it did, but you get it. Then you wait about 15 seconds for your helicopter to uh, warm up. Then throttle, throttle to full for engine one. And throttle, throttle to full for engine two. And wait till your gauge is up to 
Yeah, I might have screwed up somewhere along the lines, but uh, you can put it all together. Okay, going to the heavy helicopter next. Welcome back. This is the heavy helicopter, just a little outside view. Okay, let's get in and start her up. Here we are inside the cockpit of the heavy helicopter. There's one nice switch you need to be aware of, and that is your APU. That is a generator to use to start the engine. Okay, first you want to go right here, Switching batteries, batteries on, right after that, APU on. Then Holding starter, starter on for engine, engine one, one. and starter engine, for two. engine two. Make sure those are on. Your RPM should be on here. Actually has separate for engine one and twos. Throttle set to idle. Throttle to idle. One. And throttle set to the idle other throttle for two. idle. Wait until it's at 65% now as I said uh, multiple engines you're gonna have to use scroll wheel sometime Release turn your starter, starter off one. go to your scroll wheel Release engine off for two for then you go back here, turn off your APU. Shutting down APU. You don't have to use scroll wheel. I just messed up. Warm up 15 seconds, yeah. Then uh, throttle to full. For engine two. You can throttle do that in any way you want. One. Then you wait till it's at 100%. And here's another cool feature. Go here, turn your wheel brakes off, make sure your collective is fully down, and you can taxi on the runway. This is just get a good start. For us, we do not need this, and we're going into the ocean. Okay, we're gonna go to the next helicopter now. Throttle the idle for engine one. We're Throttle going. The and that, kids, is why you never set your wheel brakes off when you're at a downhill slope. Thank God everyone is okay. Yeah. Here we are with the check hind. Sorry for the rendering glitch. The tiger. I have set this one up in honor of Bohemia Interactive making such amazing games. I thank them for this. Let's hop in. I know the majority of you cannot read Russian and sorry that it is. The controls on the regular Heinz are in Russian. Not my fault. Uh, even though this is Czech Hein, you know, Russian surplus. Okay. First, you want to find your batteries that are to your right. Switching batteries turn those on. on. And to your other right, ch little check mark, turn Starting your APU APU. on. Holding starter starter on, for and start Holding starter on. For two. Okay, these two are your engine uh, RPM meters for engine one right there and engine two right there. You can use those throttle uh, icons or the one on your uh, on your. Throttle uh, the idle for engine oh, one. Forgot the name of that. Uh, throttle the full for engine one. Oh, oops, uh, throttle to idle for engine that was one. a little accident, you never throttle want to, to do that, but, uh, two. I will continue from, uh, this point, engine, RPM, I messed up one of the engines, uh, excuse me while I go grab another hind, discard this, okay, we're back, now we're back, we're back, 
recording stopped, I'm gonna have to edit those together. Okay, first batteries Switching on. Switching batteries on. I was a bit rushed before. Now we're gonna take this decently slow. APU, APU. on. Now Holding you want to turn on both your one. starters. Starter for two. Take a look at that. Once it's at twelve percent or above, you want to. Uh, Set both your throttles to idle. Uh, I'm just gonna use these ones for now. Throttle to idle for engine one. Throttle to idle for engine two. Wait till it's at 65%. Obviously, it might take a little bit. Actually, has it marked there for 65 in yellow? Probably due to most people not knowing Russian or Czech. Okay, after that, you want to go here, Releasing turn your starter, starter off, scroll wheel, starter, starter off two. for engine 2. Your action menu, your scroll wheel, just scroll on it in front of an option. After you turn those off, you want to turn off your APU. And you yeah, got your 15 second warm up period. I'm just going to go here, throttle, throttle to full, for engine one. and throttle, throttle to full. full. For engine two. Wait till it's at 100%. Now one thing, uh, with your uh, engine temperatures, you never want to let them exceed 200, well, before you, uh, put your throttle to full, always check your temperature, make sure it's below 200 Celsius. Your engine temperature should never exceed 450 degrees Celsius. If that ever happens, cut your throttle completely. Just by going here, if it's at full, and it's at idle at the moment, and you want to go straight to, uh, it being off, use the scroll menu. Okay, shutting this helicopter off is as simple as any other. One, you want to set both your throttles throttle to, to idle. idle. For engine two. Throttle to idle for engine one. Then wait till your RPM is at 65%. Okay, they are at below 65%. You'll want to wait 15 seconds so the engine will cool down and put less wear on the components. Okay, we're not going to do that. Uh, it might prompt you to go throttle full, but you want to scroll wheel throttle and to throttle to close. Throttle to close for engine one. What I do next is usually turn Switching my batteries, batteries off. off. I go off these gauges. Uh, you wait till your RPM is at zero percent. There's one last step after these reach zero. You notice the rotor blades are still spinning, spinning, right? Okay, let me find this. Okay, you go to below your right leg and there's Holding the rotor, rotor brake. brake. You want to hold that until they come to a slow stop. Like that. And you Releasing want to release rotor your rotor brake. 
Thank you, Biz, for making such a detailed game. Us in the community really do appreciate it. And for take on helicopters rearmed. Here's a thought point. Could you redo all the helicopters from Arma 2 and OA for the rearm pack for this in the flight model for take on helicopters? Because that is one thing I'd really actually like is to actually start up certain helicopters in the real way they would be started with a detailed flight model and cockpit of take on helicopters that would be a very nice touch and also I know Biss isn't here to even listen to this but I just want to say you should put less development time into DayZ and put more into Arma 3. The reason you're not seeing as much content as you can for Arma 2, Arma 3, I mean, is because of DayZ. Rocket stole people off the Arma 3 project and took them to the DayZ project. But if they're going to work on that, they should at least put take on helicopters flight model in. Like uh, Rocket said, it's all about survival. And not every character is going to know how to start up a helicopter. You, yourself, are going to have to know. And the flight model should be on expert, where you're going to have to work to keep this thing in the air. Alright. But thank you, Biss, for creating such an amazing game. With such detail, even though I'm on the lowest quality possible. Thank you, and this has been another video and tutorial by BHD Eric. Have a good one.